Previously on Inside Pure Cycle, we showed you the first two steps in the Pure Cycle process, prep and purification. On today's episode, we will share how our flagship facility in Ironton, Ohio is using the latest and greatest technology to make sure our team members are always safe and the plant is always running. We describe this as Born Digital. When I think about Born Digital, every company I've been a part of, we've always tried to transition into digital. And that's tremendously difficult and also very expensive. With our new system, we've taken a step back. We paused at the beginning a little bit and said, okay, how do we build the right foundation to do digital right for the future? We are starting off with all the technology we need, not necessarily implementing it right away, but everything's there. Uh, it's your building blocks. We are setting a pl base platform so that we can implement all the latest and greatest. AI, machine learning, we can do all that without having to go back and reformat everything. Okay, so Jim, when I walk around the facility now, first of all, I'm like so excited because you can just see it emerging in front of you. And also, it's a lot bigger, a lot more complex than what I thought it was going to be two and a half years ago. And then when I see the wiring and the electrical and all the instrumentation around, I think about a born digital program. And I also think about what does it really take to get us ready for operations? Because that lands in your shop. Right. The, the big thing is the, is the infrastructure. So the wiring you see and the cabinets that you see around, that's the crux of born digital. You would have it anyway, but the way we arrange it and the way we connect it creates this born digital methodology where we don't have to go through a transformation later. And in that is a tool that we can automatically check things out through a, a tool called Asset Management System or AMS. So AMS, we use that tool from the control room to check out every device in the plant so we don't have to go through this lengthy process. So it's the first process I've ever been involved in where the checkout team is ahead of the construction team. They don't have this huge lag at the end where they have to go through and pop up transmitters and change things. They can see immediately through the digital network the beauty of Born Digital. All right, so I've heard this concept of a smart valve, like where the valve has enough intelligence built into it to where it will actually signal back to us when problems are gonna happen in the future. Is that right? That's right. The valve can actually tell you when it's going to experience problems in the future so you can plan that maintenance so you don't you're not dealing with a failure in the middle of the night the day of work you're dealing with planning that maintenance for some future day what does it take for our teams to actually commission the plan get it ready for operation well we have to make sure that things are connected to the right points so you have cabinets like this one that have the guts of born digital in it which this is called a remote uh, a remote io panel and this is just one of 15 or 16. Electrons come in, electrons go out. That's right. Okay. <laughs> and not just not just electrons that tell what the pressure or temperature or flow is and then tell a valve what to do, but also health data about those devices that rides on top of those signals that we can glean to get that information that I was talking about earlier. I remember about a year and a half ago, putting a VR headset on me and, and using a controller to walk around inside this plant. Well, the VR headset, the real wear lens, uh, is, the is the technical term, is a very powerful tool, not only for training, because you can take operators and put them in this headset. They can see in one eye a, a virtual representation of the plant, and they can see in the other eye the actual plant, which is overlaid perfectly. And then they can look at a pipe, and they can actually see the flow in the pipe through this, this real wear lens. In addition, if they have a problem, and let's say there's someone in our Augusta plant, that needs support. The plant is virtually identical. They can go to their plant and they can look at something. The person in Augusta can see what they're looking at and they can communicate in real time as if they're both in the same room. And I'm not being dramatic when I say this. My team and I, our blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this project to get out here and actually see it coming to life to be here as the modules are placed that was exciting but it's not quite the same as lighting this plan up and doing the final commissioning it's different than anything i've ever experienced because you know everyone gets excited about a new plant no matter what it is 
you know, they, they want to be a, a, a part of that, that brown field or that green field facility and building something that they can look at in the future and say, I had a part in that, right? But to have a part in something that's never been done before, I mean, it's, it, it creates this level of excitement that keeps you going every single day. Stay tuned for our next episode. Pure Cycle, one goal, a pure planet.